Hey y'all, this is Monarch Mama, and I have a special treat for you today. I have an interview with a homeschool graduate. This is my daughter, Jenny. Hello. And she graduated in 2015. 2015. Last year. So, I'm gonna let, um, gonna, I'm gonna start asking her some questions and she's gonna answer them for you. So the first question is, how long were you homeschooled? I was homeschooled from kindergarten all the way through high school, so that's like 13 years. Okay. What are some of your favorite memories from being homeschooled? Um, I think my favorite memories are probably homeschool PE, which we did when I was in, I think, fourth and fifth grade. Um, we got to do, um, it was at the YMCA, and we got to do basketball and um, a bunch of other sports. Pickleball. We did pickleball. Yeah, I was just thinking about pickleball, which is basically ping pong with wiffle balls. Um, we did kind of kickball. Dangerous. It was kind of dangerous. There was one month when we did broom ball, which is like hockey with brooms, and that was lovely. I hated that one. <laughs> so um, we, we paid like we paid a fee per month, mm -hmm. and then every month they would play a certain sport, right? Every yeah, something like that. I don't remember what the fee was, but I remember every month we did a different sport and. I think the last time that we did one year, we did swimming, and that was great mm -hmm. because it was it was just great. <laughs> swimming is always fun. Another thing I really liked was um, getting to do. Oops. Uh, <laughs> another thing that I really liked to do was uh, going to the music co-op that my siblings are still in, and I played the clarinet and I sung soprano in the choir, and I got to be in a drama play for my senior year, so that was a lot of fun. Do you still play the clarinet? I do still play the clarinet for my college community band, and I get a good scholarship for that every semester. So, okay. Um, so let's see. Next question is: Did you feel prepared for college or life? Just regular, like if you weren't to mm -hmm. go to college, did you feel like you were ready? Did you feel like you were prepared to enter into life? I felt like when I graduated that I was ready for college. Um, of course, I had already started college by then. I was already taking dual credit classes, um, at least two when I when I graduated. Um, so I, I guess I felt pretty prepared for at least community college. Life, mm -hmm. no, no, <laughs> I was not ready to live by myself, and I'm still working on that. But um, I, I was mostly prepared for college, but not life in general. No. Not at all. Okay. So what was your attitude towards homeschooling? Did you feel like you enjoyed being homeschooled or did you always want to go to the public school and did you feel like mm -hmm. you were being forced to be homeschooled? Um, I think in the beginning I was really excited about it in kindergarten. Um, then excited after about a week or two, homeschooling or I was excited about, about being at home and um, I had heard things about public school, I, I didn't want to get bullied mostly, because um, I had read a lot of children's books about people dealing with bullies, and I guess I had like a hypersensitivity to like, uh, I was just scared. <laughs> um, but after a couple of weeks, I kind of got sick of sitting at the house and doing my schoolwork, and really I just didn't like the, the schoolwork part of it, um, and I, I kind of wanted to go to school, and I didn't realize that it was going to be probably different at public school. But, um, no, I, I never went to public school. And after a while, I kind of got used to it, and I really did like being in homeschool. Um, when I was about in the eighth grade, I felt like um, I wasn't getting a mission field with homeschooling, and I really wanted to go to public school so that I could, uh, so that I could minister to other kids. But uh, my dad told me that he felt like, and mom felt like, they both felt that God wanted them to keep me in homeschool because they wanted to, um, they felt like it was their duty to continue to teach me how to be uh, a good follower of Christ and, um, and how to be a better person in general. And honestly, I'm really glad that they didn't put me back in school or to put me in public school at that point because it would have been, uh, it would have had a bad impact on me looking back. I yeah, I that think now. that everything is in God's timing mm -hmm. and that, um, you know, we wanted to follow through with what we had started, and there's a time for you to have a mission field. But, but it wasn't then. didn't feel like that eighth grade was the right time. It, it wasn't then. Yeah. And 
there were a couple of times, you know, in grade school where I felt like I was missing out because I saw the other girls talking about their sports or the friends that they had in school. Um, okay, so that's I never really got bullied or anything. One of the that, next so. questions is, did you feel like you missed out on anything um, in school? Did you feel like you missed out on anything by being homeschooled instead of being in the public school? I don't feel like I missed much. I mean, I kind of would have liked to have been in marching band at some point, but um, I mean, I got to be in orchestra in junior and senior year, so I don't, I don't really feel like I missed out on much there. Um, and I don't really feel like I missed out on much as far as friendships or social activities go. I, I, I did, did a lot. I did in grade school, I feel like. I feel like in grade school and in middle school especially, I missed out on a lot of social opportunities. But, because of um, where we were living. Because of where we yeah. were living. And, um, yeah. But I feel like I've more than made up for that now that I'm in yeah. college. <laughs> well, for for her high school, tell them about your volleyball team. Yeah, when I was in my sophomore year of high school, um, we had already moved here, and there were a lot more um, homeschoolers in this area. Group. It was a much bigger group, and so there were enough girls interested in the volleyball team that the moms got together and got a coach, and we played volleyball, and we would play against the Christian schools. And that was a really fun time for all of us girls. We really got to bond together and, um, and enjoy being on a team. And I feel like it was a pretty good outlet for some of us. Uh, mm -hmm. I think sophomore year is a pretty dramatic year for most of us in the homeschool co-op because of hormones and other problems. Mm -hmm. So uh, hitting the volleyball was a much better alternative than hitting somebody's face. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next question is what are your future plans for education? What are you currently doing and what mm -hmm. are your future plans? Well, what I'm currently doing is I'm enrolled at the community college, which is just like 10 minutes away. Um, I'm gonna be finishing my associate's degree there and getting my associate of arts. And um, once I'm done with that, next semester, I'll be transferring to a major university, which is about 10 and a half hours away mm -hmm. from us. Um, but it's gonna be it's gonna be really exciting. I'm, I'm already very excited about it, and I'm I'm really pretty ready to, to leave. I think that at this point I'm pretty prepared. Um, there I'm gonna be getting a bachelor's degree in advertising. I might minor in public relations. Um, as things work out and as I discover more about what those things are, I might lean more toward public relations and advertising. But um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, last question. Did you go to the prom? Yes. And <laughs> did you play in a band? Yes. Or did you sing in a choir? Yes. Or did you play sports? And so we've already touched I've on a little bit of that, so I'm going to let her <laughs> tell you um, a little bit more about um, each of those things. So you already talked about your sport. You I played. talked about sports, yeah. Um, but you played volleyball. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of touched on band and choir. So tell um, us. Tell us more about the choir and the band. I started choir in my junior year of high school and um, it was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed being in choir. Um, and I still, I, I really wish I could be in choir still. But maybe uh, I'm planning on joining another choir once I get to uh, the university next semester. A friend of mine told me about a choir that they have there that's mostly just for people who want to sing and mm -hmm. I want to be in that choir. <laughs> So, um, but not a band, right? But uh, I don't think that I would qualify to be in the band. No, I, the band. I they joined have a marching the, band. Or? Yes, they do. But you have to be really good to be in that band, and I've never done marching band. So, um, yeah, the the same semester that I did choir, my junior year, I was watching my siblings as they were picking up the trumpet and the flute and the drum, and I was watching them, and they were just having so much fun learning how to play their new so instruments. You were only in choir. And I was only in choir. Time. I wasn't doing band, and they weren't in choir. Mm -hmm. So. I decided, you know what, I want to pick up a new instrument because I think that would be fun. So uh, they she needed... played the piano already. Yeah, I played the piano already and I just hadn't been doing it in a while and I remembered how much fun it was to learn a new instrument. So I picked up the clarinet about halfway through the semester and because uh, they needed a new clarinet. And so I learned pretty quickly and the second semester of junior year I was in the intermediate orchestra with my siblings. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I tried out for the advanced orchestra later that Next year. Next semester. Uh, yeah, that, that same spring semester, mm -hmm. and I made it, which was a surprise to 
just about everybody. <laughs> but uh, it was really, it was really good. It was a really great opportunity for me to be able to play in the advanced orchestra. I was the only clarinet. I was about half the woodwind section, so that was a lot of fun. Um, and we got to play the Harry Potter theme for my last concert of my senior year. So um, that was a very good nostalgic memory. Mm, uh, that was another good memory. It was a very good memory. Okay, and then tell us about your prom. So, well, your many proms. My many proms, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the first year of high four school, years, right? yeah. The first year of high school, when I was a freshman, in about January of that year, there started to be this rumor going around that people were talking about getting a prom together. And of course, I was just ecstatic I'm because I love dancing, and I just I wanted to I wanted to do it. And I wanted to I wanted to go to prom. Sorry, I shook the camera again. Um, but um, I didn't have a dress, and I didn't have a date, and I was just, what what is going to happen? Because I knew that in most public schools you couldn't go to prom unless you um, were a junior or a senior or somebody asked you. So um, it turned out that you were allowed to go to prom if you were seventh grade and up, which actually turned out to make it a whole lot more fun because there are more people. And uh, so that was great. Um, and mom made a really pretty dress for me in the first year. Yeah. The first year. Um, I did have a date that year, but that was like the worst mistake ever. <laughs> honestly, that was. I mean, it was really you fun. Made a memory. <laughs> but I made a memory. That's for sure. <laughs> and then the next year. So if you're watching this and you're thinking about getting a date for your freshman prom, just don't do it, okay? Just go by yourself. It's more fun. <laughs> and then the next year, you did go by yourself. I did go by myself for sophomore year and for junior year too. Um, well, I kind of went through it a group for junior year because my, both my brothers went and um, yeah. you know, a couple of friends of mine that were basically brothers went too. So that was fun. Um, an entourage. An entourage. An entourage. Um, and then for my senior prom, I, um, I was able to go with my boyfriend and that was a lot of fun. Even though, um, even though the, the time that it happened was not that great. Well, it was a, it was a difficult time It was a life, difficult time because cause my grandmother had just passed away. Right. But, it was still a really good night, and um, it was it was it was great. It was a really good last hurrah. It was, and we held the um, all of the prompts were held at a community center here mm -hmm. in our town. And what we did was we rented out the the facility and decorated it ourselves. And then um, we had chaperones that were just the parents came and enjoyed the party and mm -hmm. served drinks, and we had food and. Mm -hmm. um, so and we just charged tickets, yeah. just enough to cover the cost of the prom. Yeah. So it was fun. And a lot of my public school friends asked me, your parents went to prom with you? Yeah. Wasn't that weird? <laughs> and I'm like, well, no, actually, it, it wasn't really weird. I mean, my whole family went to prom, and pretty much everybody else's whole family went to prom. Um, and for homeschoolers, it's just, it's a family affair. It's not, you know, mm -hmm. just something that you do with your friends, so where you go get drunk and high in the bathroom. Um, <laughs> it's just not something you do. Um, we never had that problem, but um, it was it was a lot more fun with my parents being there. So yeah, and we had the barn dances mm -hmm. that we went to. Yeah, that was, and that was family as well. That was a family party. And that mm -hmm. was great. That was fun. Well, anyway, those are all the questions that I have for Jenny, our homeschool graduate. And she is um, happy to be here. And if Sam. you have any other questions that you would like to ask her, mm -hmm. then you can leave them in the comments below. And perhaps I can entice her to join me for another video I sometime. I would love to. Before <laughs> January, before she goes yes, off to school. Yes, it has school. to be before January. So anyway, thank you for joining us. And comment below if you have any questions for her. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.